please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is the multiplicative identity of a, of a matrix. For the time being, just forget about the matrix, the term matrix. First, we will see what is the multiplicative identity. In case of real numbers, the number 1 is called the multiplicative identity for real numbers. Why? Because if we multiply the number 1 with any real number, the number will remain the same. How? For example, we have a real number say A. When we multiply it with 1, we will get the number as it is. Okay. If we replace, for example, A with a 2, say 2 is a real number, and we multiply it with 1, we will get the 2 as it is. It means the 1 is not affecting the, well, the real number 2. Here, we came across the conclusion that 1 is the multiplicative identity of real numbers. Okay, So, 1 is the multiplicative identity but in case of real numbers. Then, while in case of the matrices, we are dealing with the multiple elements that are arranged in rows and columns. In that case, what would be the multiplicative identity? Okay, Let's see what would be the multiplicative identity in case of matrices. In case of matrices, the multiplicative identity 1 is replaced by the identity matrix. Okay. In case of matrices, multiplicative identity would be an identity matrix. Let's see what it is. It is represented as identity matrix is represented by I and we will put in the subscript as 2 in case the matrices is of order 2 into 2. And the identity matrix is a matrix having 1 in the diagonal and the rest of the entries will be 0. This is an identity matrix of 2 into 2 order. And keep in mind the identity matrix is a square matrix. It means that the number of rows must be equal to the number of columns. If we talk about the identity matrix of, of rows and of 3 into 3, how it will be? It will be like 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is another identity matrix having an order of 3 into 3. Okay. Its order is 2 into 2 and the order here is 3 into 3. So, these are the identity matrices. That basically replace this one of uh, one in case of real numbers by identity matrix in case of uh, matrices. So, for matrices we need an identity matrix. It means identity matrix plays the same role in matrix operation as the one in operation with real number. Now let's apply it on the on the matrices so that we can uh, have the clear concept. Let's say we have a matrix A is equals to 1, 0, 2, minus 3. Okay. And an identity matrix that is 1, 0, 0, 1. Both of these matrices must be of the same order and they must be a square matrix having the rows and columns same. Okay. For multiplicative identity of a matrix, there exists a condition that must be satisfied. Okay. The condition is A into I, that is A is a given matrix and I is the identity matrix, must be equal to the A. Or if we multiply the identity matrix with the A, you will also get the same matrix. It means that the identity matrix is not affecting the given matrix or the original matrix. Okay. So, we have to pr prove this condition in order to um, uh, find the multiplicative identity of a matrix. If this condition is satisfied, then we will say that the given matrix I is a multiplicative identity of this matrix. Okay. So, let us prove this condition by applying it uh, by applying the rules of multiplication over it. First, we will find A i as A is going to be multiplied with i. We will apply the rule of multiplication over it in order to find the multiplication. That is by using the dot product method. Okay. So we will, but we will get, we will multiply this row with this column first. We get by multiplying the corresponding elements 1 into 1 plus 2 into 0. Then we will multiply this row 
with this column. What we will get? 1 into 0 plus 2 into 1. Okay. Then multiply this row with this column. Okay. By multiplying the corresponding elements 0 into 1 plus minus 3 into 0. And then again multiply this row with this column. It will be 0 into 0 plus minus 3 into 1. Okay. What will be the result? We will get 1 into 1 is 1 and 2 into 0 is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Then 1 into 0 is 0 and 2 into 1 is 2. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 into 1 is 0 and 3 into 0 is 0. So it will be 0 here. 0 into 0 is 0 and minus 3 into 1 is minus 3. We will get minus 3 here. Now it is clear from here that the matrix that we get after the multi multiplication is the original matrix that is equals to A. It means that the condition is satisfied. This shows that the this identity matrix is the multiplicative identity of the given matrix. Okay. If we find I A, we will get the same result. Zero. It means we have changed the order of multiplication. Let's see we get the same result or not. Okay. We will apply the same rule as above. 1 into 1 plus 0. Then 1 into 2 plus 0. Then 0 into 1 is 0 plus 0. And then 0 into 2 is 0 plus minus 3 into 1 is minus. What we will get? Uh, I'll write it here. As we have a little space. Now it will be clear for you that how they are equal. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 0 is 2, 0 and minus 3. Now it is equals to A. This means whether we multiply identity matrix with the given matrix, the order that first the, ident the given matrix and then the identity matrix or we change their order, it does not matter. We will get the original matrix as it is. This means that this given I is the multiplicative identity of A. So we will write here as the multiplicative identity. It means the condition that you need to check is this. This condition must be satisfied in order to find the multiplicative identity of the matrix. This was all about what is, what is the multiplicative identity in real numbers and what is the multiplicative identity in case of uh, matrices. You will always have an identity matrix that when multiplied with the given matrix will give you with the um, original matrix as it is, it means that the identity matrix is the multiplicative identity of the given matrix. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.